The Heron Preston and Nike Bayou Air Max 720 slash 95. That's what we're talking about today. Welcome to the workshop. This is where the magic happens. And today we don't have a pair of physical sneakers in our hands. I don't have them in my mitts, but we did a kind of discussion type video talking about the best sneaker releases of the month of April 2019 and the feedback on it was really, really good. So I guess this is a discussion video, a preview video, something somewhere in between, a little bit of both, I don't know. But I talked about in that best sneakers of April video, I talked about the Heron Preston Nike and when we first saw pictures, I think everyone kind of just assumed, I know I did, just assumed it was gonna be that orange kind of flaming torch. I don't know if anyone is familiar with that sneaker. Well, I know some people are. If you are not familiar with that sneaker, it's kind of this same type of colorway, bright oranges and the different shades and it looks like some sort of flaming, erupting volcano or something. Anyway, it was just that sneaker as far as Heron Preston went, but now we see Nike has released more now to where it is going to be a Nike Buy You project and we're going to be able to customize the sneaker ourselves. Now, of course, like all customization processes with Nike, you know, whether it be Nike ID or now Nike by you, what Nike ID has transitioned into, there's always going to be some structure or some guidelines. It's not millions of endless colors that you can use and materials. It's pretty structured. The five, I guess, glamour shots or the five sneakers that I saw was the orange colorway that was the initial picture that most of us saw. I think that's the best one. Then there was a green pair that I thought was really, really cool. Then there was a blue pair, then the all black, which all black is dope, but it's all black. It's not that spicy. And then there was a pink pair. That's how I would rank them from most dope to least dope. That orange pair, it just, when I first saw pictures, it did something for me and it still does something for me. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I don't think I'm going to go too crazy with trying to customize some ridiculous tie-dye version of the shoe where this color and that color and this color. I really like that orange pair. I really like it with the 720 bottoms. You can also keep the classic Air Max 95 bottom, but that's not as much fun. And quite frankly, I think the 720, although it's not that comfortable, we did an update video on the Air Max 720, I thought, I think a lot of people thought when we saw that 720, the biggest air bubble, the biggest air unit Nike has ever done, automatically we were like, oh, it's gonna be extremely comfortable. They're not actually that comfortable. The 720 is not that comfortable, but it's still more comfortable than the Air Max 95. So I think for that reason, and because I just think it adds a more futuristic, more of a bold, look, I think that that 720 bottom is gonna be the way to go for me. That's the way I'm gonna do it. And that orange color too, it's kind of Heron Preston-ish, right? If you're familiar with him as a designer, he uses a ton of orange. That's like his color of choice. That's why when we saw that first picture, we were like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Orange, Heron Preston, boom, there you go. So now it looks like there's gonna be all these different options. I'm gonna stick to that orange colorway, I think. And I think I'm only gonna do one because they have not announced an official price yet to my knowledge, at least as we sit here and shoot this video, I haven't seen anything about a set price, but I think they're gonna be kind of expensive, relatively speaking. Number one, it is a Nike buy you sneaker, and anytime you have the Nike customizable sneakers, they're a little bit more expensive than the regular model of that sneaker, and then you throw the hype of Heron Preston into the mix, and I don't know, Buckets, what do you think? Buckets is behind the camera right now, the silence behind the violence. Buckets, you agree with me the orange uh, colorway is the best one? For sure. And where do you think price point wise? I think they're gonna be at least 250. 250, I would say. Yeah, I would say 250. I would be surprised if they were over 300. Yeah. 250 to 300 is kind of what I'm thinking, but you never know. You never know. So Nike will release that when they release it again. Just speaking to the hype aspect of things, holding on to 
information and bits and pieces of things leading up to the release on April 15th or the date that we're gonna be able to start customizing. And I saw something that it would last for a week. So the 15th to maybe the, the 23rd or something, don't hold me to that. I'm jumping in right away. I'm jumping in April 15th, I am on it. That's when they are going to launch this thing globally and I'm gonna be all over it. I'm gonna be all over it. I'm really, really excited about it. I think it's dope because it's a different way to collaborate. You know, you take Heron Preston, boom. Sure, he could have done the one sneaker, but I think it's cool whenever there's a collaboration that feels a little bit more fresh, and this does feel more fresh to me. It feels like something a little bit more unique, a little bit more organic, a little bit, it just has a cooler feel to it, whereas if it's just collab after collab after collab, all the same way, it can get a little bit redundant. And I don't think this is that. So whether you like this or you don't like this does feel fresh to me, especially with Nike going from Nike ID to Nike by you and kind of the rebirth of that whole thing and them kind of ramping Nike by you up. I don't know if you remember, but if you tune in regularly, Buckets and I actually designed a Nike by you sneaker for someone who is really, really a big part of our lives and just someone who we feel really strongly about who we love. And we documented the whole process going through the Nike by you process. You know, we'll put a link in the description of this video. If you have not seen that video yet, check it out. It was a very heartfelt thing. It was very, um, genuine and like i said it's just someone who's almost kind of like a father figure for uh buckets and i you know we have our own father he's irreplaceable but uh dan o'donnell the guy we made the sneaker for is just really really special to us so we got to kind of play with the nike by you a little bit this is obviously a much different thing but it's still under the nike by you umbrella and i see nike trying to do new stuff and exciting stuff and really trying to bring excitement back to nike by you and i think heron preston is the perfect guy to do that so leave a comment below and let us know how do you feel about this project how do you feel about a collaboration with a customizable sneaker like this and what appears to be so many different options nike is doing a bunch of stuff not just with heron preston they're doing the cactus Plant Flea Market, Vapor Max, we'll see what they do with those. There's a couple other creatives who they are teaming up with. They're doing a lot with the Air Max, and I really, really like it because like I've said many, many times, I love the Air Max line in general. There almost is not an Air Max in existence that I don't at least appreciate on some level. I just really, really dig Air Max. It's what I grew up on, it's what I still love, and it's just really, really dope. So I'm a fan, but leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about this whole thing. Let us know what color palette you're gonna go with, if you are gonna customize them, just let us know how you feel. That's with these type of videos, we definitely wanna get the discussion going, we definitely wanna talk about it. I won't be able to respond to every comment probably, but I am going to go through and read every single comment. So if you leave a comment, I'm definitely going to read it and I'm gonna respond to as many as I can and we'll get the discussion going. And you all can kind of discuss amongst yourselves as well. We can turn it into a throwback, just, chopping it up, talking at the lunch table, you know, talking in the cafeteria at lunchtime. The good old days, we're gonna bring it back. So thank you for watching, we really, really appreciate you. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place, right here at the workshop, and tomorrow we will probably have an actual sneaker to talk about and break down and dive into. Thank you for tuning in, I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No. That is it, adios.